I wonder how much you're following what's going on on uh, a, a, a new television channel called GBTV, at least I think that's what it's called. Um, I, I've been interested in this really from the very beginning because I think we should be encouraging new things. Um, I was equally interested in Steph McGovern's programme, uh, which, which comes out of Steph's packed lunch, but both Steph and GB News now um, have, have the alarming uh, statistics that on certain programmes, on certain times, they've had zero um, viewers, which is not something one wants to be bragging about if one is um, in broadcasting. Anyway, today's uh, issue is all about taking the knee, and I find this really quite an extraordinary um, concept. I don't fully understand it. Um, I'm very interested in religious um, ceremony and ritual. Um, right the way from, uh, in, in the Greek Orthodox Church, there's a thing called proskinesis, which is really sort of um, going right down. Um, it's very similar to, uh, it, was, it was in fact picked up by Islam. Um, uh, in secular society, we can also think in America, there's a fellow called Thibault, and he, uh, he, he, he sort of um, contributes to the argument by uh, introducing a concept called Thibaut-ing, where basically he is doing what I would consider to be a Catholic genuflection. Uh, this is not, incidentally, what taking the knee is. Taking the knee uses the other knee. I don't understand this. Um, it's as though it's... It's a sort of um, it's a sort of thing that uh, Theresa May did when she greeted the Queen. Her curtsy was so low she was practically uh, doing the same gesture uh, that um, uh, that the footballers are doing, kneeling on that on that knee, kneeling on the um, which, which which one is it? It's uh, so you're a you're actually taking the weight on the um, left knee. Is that right? The left knee. Yeah. Um, now. I was thinking back when, 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 when I was um, listening to the news and looking at this issue in the last hour, I was thinking back to um, the Olympics in 1968 and um, the, uh, the, 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 the power fist gesture um, made by two athletes, Smith and Carlo, I think. Um, and... Uh, uh, and that is as much a gesture. I mean, in fact, they had their heads bowed. They, they, they were, uh, it, it was sort of a respectful gesture, um, but also a gesture of solidarity. Uh, it's a ritual. I think these things are good, actually. I think, um, I think we need rituals. Rituals are a way of um, signalling allegiance and signalling um, our solidarity. Uh, it, it, it can be as simple as um, a, a, as wearing a particular tie or selecting a particular colour. Uh, what what is um, what is threatening, perhaps, to uh, those members of society who don't share our views or the views, um, is that these gestures deviate from the norm. So, in the case of taking the knee, this is an activity which tends to have occurred in sporting events at the point when the national anthem is being played. Um, but it still shows to me reverence, respect, solidarity and community. And now, the whole subject is revived today by uh, a person called Guto Hari. Now, I've never heard of him on GB TV. Um, and he was one of the anchors um, I always find that word so difficult. But he was one of the anchors on GBTV, um, along with um, another lady called Mercy Merori, I think. Um, Murori. She just looked on in complete incomprehension, uh, while Guto was, um, well, well, well I, I, I think, wondering uh, what taking the knee was. And uh, he's been condemned... I think he's been sacked or suspended or something um, because taking the knee, which he did live on air, goes against our standards, says GBTV. In fact, I think what they're actually trying to say is that it goes against the rules put, laid down by Ofcom. Now, the rules laid down by Ofcom state very clearly that if you're making a news programme, 
you should not be at the same time making a political gesture or making a political act. Um, I, have, I, I, I have my own worries about the reach of Ofcom. And of course, we have to look at taking the knee in the context of what Gareth Southgate has said in the past, that this is not a political gesture. Um, I have never understood um, how people find this offensive, um, unless perhaps it is the choice of knee which is being dropped. It's a gesture which began in, oh wait, we can date it precisely, August the 26th, I think, 2016, um, at an American game, um, and Colin uh, Kaepernick uh, took the knee, in imitation, I think, of a gesture which was popularised in Game of Thrones, and he was followed by Eric Reed. Um, now, as I say, I don't, I don't see it as necessarily a political gesture. I'm, I, I'm there with Gareth um, uh, Southgate. Uh, but, um, but, of course, President Trump condemned it immediately as a political gesture, as a protest. And then, very quickly, Obama defended it as a protest. That gives it political weight, even if uh, I don't recognise it as such. So, uh, or, or even if it wasn't intended, though I think it probably was intended. So we look at the history of how this gesture has been used, and it clearly has political resonance. And then we can look at GBTV. As I say, it's sort of hanging on by its fingernails. It's terribly sad, because this seemed to me to be um, a great option, and I hope it still will be. Um, but we see Andrew Neil, the front man of this show, uh, the front man of this um, program, is now on leave. Farage um, seems to be fairly silent, or at least he's wheeled out on Sundays to pontificate about Brexit. Um, Alistair Stewart today announces that he's got a hip problem. Um, and we're left with Dan Wooten. I don't know who Dan Wooten is, really. I just have no idea. He, he doesn't look much like a newscaster to me. Um, he's an editor of The Sun, so I, I, uh, I don't think that's a very sound. I don't think that's very sound um, in, terms of, um, in terms of his competence or, um, or, or, or pulling power. So, so this, is a, this, this is a channel now which is dominated by the importance of Dan Wooten. Um, well, you know, there we are. Um, and um, I would like... I would like to offer help to this uh, to, to this beleaguered channel in the same way as I would like to offer help to Steph's packed lunch. Um, you know whether whether that's taken up or not, God knows. But uh, um, I don't like to think of um, important new ventures being messed up by. <laughs> um, Twitter's behaviour and and, uh, and 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 sort of a failure to get the technology right, um, and um, or or in this case, you know, what are we going to remember about G uh, G B T V? Um, the, 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 that it was almost brought to its knees um, by a, uh, by a literal lurch um, in the person of Guto Hari. Guto Hari, what is he going to be remembered for in the future? Not some great breaking, not, not, not reporting some great breaking news story, but actually making the great breaking news story. Mercy, Mercy, um, Macquarie, what is she going to be remembered for? Looking on aimlessly, looking lost, um, like, uh, you know, some, 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 some glamorous sidekick from the, from the days of dynasty. Um, it's, uh, this, this all gives the wrong message. We are in need of proper programmes uh, that combine punchy news, humour, opinion and fact. Um, <laughs> what we don't need is more tittle-tattle and wittering. We, we, we need 
fact. So if I'm looking at taking the knee, I want to know where this comes from. I, I, I want to be fed with information. And, um, you know, uh, if, if I, if, 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 whatever I'm looking at, I want, I want the information. And I think a good, a good TV channel that would give me information would be a great positive rather than uh, the endless rehashing of the weather and <laughs> and sort of repeated um, news bulletins. We actually need television to get down to in-depth investigative journalism and interesting, interesting insights. Um, and, uh, and, and so, you know, I would salute any news uh, programme and I would salute any new, any, any, any new um, uh, TV show that tries to do that and that tries to reach out across the nation. One of the things that GBTV said it was going to do was reach out to different parts of our country and bring the news from those different parts. I don't see so far that that is the thing that has caught our attention. What has caught our attention is a stunt, is um, a gimmick, is <laughs> somebody losing their footing and, um, and sadly falling flat on his face uh, and losing his job, um, falling foul of our bureaucracy. This is not the way forward for um, an expensive, uh, an extremely interesting venture. So, um, oh, I, I, I've gone on, I'm afraid. Um, but, um, uh, but, but yes, do, 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 do subscribe. And I think um, we're, we're, we're in the summer. We're in a period where there shouldn't be any news. And yet, every time I open the newspaper, every time I switch on, um, my, uh, my, my, my computer, there's another um, thing flashing in front of me and I think, wow, um, this is something that needs to be investigated. This is something which needs talking about uh, in an informed way. So, look, I would really welcome a discussion about these things. Um, if you know more about taking the knee, about its origins, about um, it, 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 its purpose, uh, whether you support it or you don't support it, I would be really interested to hear from you. Um, and, uh, and, and, and at the same time, um, to stimulate a debate where the bottom line is kindness and consideration for one another. Um, so please, do add to that debate. Do... Um, uh, subscribe to my channel and do ring the bell. Do you know, I've never found the bell. I know there is people who have told me where the bell is, but when I look, I don't see it. Maybe there's something wrong with my computer. Or maybe, 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 maybe all those bells just sort of run a mile when they see me coming. Um, so go on, ring my bell and, um, and, and, and I'll see you later. And let me know if there's something else I need to be talking about. Bye-bye.